In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can scale tileable textures using a material instance. I've got a wall here and a basic material applied to it, which is just the brick diffuse texture from the starter content. So to scale a texture in Unreal, all you have to do is right click in the material editor and just type in texture coordinate. And we'll hook this up to the UV's input on the texture sample. If you select this node, you'll see you have a U tiling and a V tiling. And if we change these to like something 4x4, four four, for example, that will increase the tiling for the texture. And we'll hit apply and you can see the update. And you can see the shaders have to compile first for this. So if you've done that and you think, oh, that's actually too small and I want to go to 2x2 two two and hit apply, you know, it's, it's taken a while for it to update and it's not very precise and it's hard to work with. So we're going to take a look at how to set this up dynamically and that's going to be uh, using a material instance. So the first thing we're going to do is just right click on this material and just hit create material instance and we'll drag that onto the wall. So we've got the texture coordinate node hooked up to the UVs. If we open the basic instance we don't see any options for texture scaling and we can't right click on this node and convert it to a parameter or any of any sort. So what we need to do is just hold down left alt and break the link here just by left clicking on it. We just need to add something else in between here. I'm going to hold down M to grab a, a multiply and I'm going to hook up the texture coordinate node into the A input of the multiply and then hook up the multiply to the UV's input on the texture sample. And one last thing I need to do is grab a scalar parameter so I'm just going to hold down S and left click and connect that up to the B input. And with this node selected I can just change the parameter name here on the side. I'm just going to call it texture scale. And as soon as I hit apply this texture scale value is going to become visible in the instance settings. So once it's updated, I can simply check this box and change the texture scale. And now you can see we are dynamically updating this texture real time. So I hope this helps and thanks for checking this tutorial out.